Good morning, my name is Father Rayapa. You are watching my cosmology series of talks and this episode is number 70. My subject today is the moon's orbit and its rotation. The Earth's moon is the fifth largest in the whole solar system and is biggest than the planet Pluto. The moon has a nearly circular orbit that is E is equal to 0.05 which is tilted about 5 degrees to the plane of the Earth's orbit. Its average distance from the Earth is 384,000 kilometers. The combination of the moon's size and its distance from the Earth causes the moon to appear the same size in the sky as the sun, which is one reason we can have solar, that is total solar eclipses. It takes the moon 27 and a half days to go around the earth once. Because of this motion, the moon appears to move about 13 degrees against the stars each day, or about one half degree per hour. If you watch the moon over the course of several hours one night, you will notice that its position among the stars will change by a few degrees. The changing position of the moon with respect to the sun leads to the lunar phases. Have you ever heard the term the far side of the moon? because of the effect on the moon of tidal forces due to the earth, the same side of the moon always faces the earth. In other words, it takes the moon the same amount of time to rotate around once as it does for the moon to go around the earth once. Therefore, Earth-bound observers can never see the far side of the moon. Tidal forces cause many of the moons of our solar system to have this type of orbit. Anyway, I've got a video animation for you. Right now I'm going to play the video. Please enjoy. The moon reflects the sunlight and appears to the observer on the Earth in different phases, from a thin crescent-shaped semicircle to a full moon.